If there was one thing I'd learned since I've been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, was their one legal chance at a ticket out of here. I'm a little lost. Perdido? Onde estou? Está no lugar errado, rapá. Ah, não compreende. I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não. Well, they weren't going to help me. And who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. Hey, are you lost? In more ways than I could possibly explain. I know you. At the disco, with the gun. Yeah, you had hair back then and better clothes. Uh, Anders Dudling from Steel, North Dakota. Why on earth are you here? Well, I'm, uh, looking for someone. What are you doing here? Oh, we, we came to help the cause. See, after I retired my wife, she said I had to do something. And well, you know, I always loved kids, so I got involved in Angels of the Hill. Oh, it's a great cause, and they're really great folk, and, well, now we come down twice a year to help inoculate the children of the favelas. Yeah, oh, simply wonderful giving back. Whole family does it. In fact, my, my little girl's coming in a couple of days. Aren't you afraid? Ah, I was a cop for 25 years. Ain't granted, steel ain't San Paolo, but, you know, I've seen things. And people are the same everywhere, good, bad, and different. Listen, have you heard anything about a, a woman about 28, rich. She was kidnapped. I heard she was being held around here. No. All right, well, good luck. All right, you too. You look like you need it. I gotta get back at it. Hey, I'll say a prayer for you. Another life lesson I didn't want. looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Hey, the telephone? Telephone, vai, lá no fundo, ó. Segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges, and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum, having just had every last cent robbed from you, and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey, Matt. Can I buy you a beer? Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, to make it quick, I'm a little busy. <laughs> if I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, come on. I'm trying to dry out a bit, so just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? Guaraná pra ele. Um choque pra mim. Bem gelado. Interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. <clears throat> yeah, well. Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Bronco. Fuck you. You were set up. 
Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Sihano. Yep. He's a real sweetheart. Yeah, he sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Neves. And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group, Rasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians, like Victor Branco. Now, you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land Rodrigo Branco wanted to develop. Rodrigo Branco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing, we simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. But we had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> it's okay, it's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Bronco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. Anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Thank you. I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck. I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. Hey, Green. What are you doing? No comprende. Leave me alone. Você tem alguma coisa para mim? Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. at a time.
de casa. I've been coming to this shithole town for the last five years. It's like a fucking insane asylum. But it's got the cheapest pussy in the world. Fuck me. I mean, You're in a cat house in the slum, pal, doing who knows what. I'm a businessman, bro. And, and they were fully legal in, in this country. I, I, th I think. And, and I know how to tip, all right? It ain't my fault, man. It ain't my fault. Th don't judge me, all right? Have a nice day. Jesus. <laughs> 